hi guys this is Kelly once again from bond machines and today I will be reviewing the alpha alphamatic 103-3 sewing machine okay um, please if you are following me uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification button to get um, recent videos when I upload them all right um, and also these machines for those of my customers I usually fix them when they come in they are, most of them are pretty in bad shape I make sure they put them in shape and they work optimally all right and um, be rest assured you're bearing the best quality and it's very very durable because I actually have worked on some and some I had to do some replacement parts I had to work on it all right quickly I'll run through the features of the machine and do some sewing and also how to wind the bobbin and due to popular demand I'll be using the treadle for the machine okay I'll be using the manual pad all right the machine has the features um, for the electrical pad which um, you can actually use as the electric motor on the back and it has the light bulb switch on the side which is openable right there's a bulb right here on it and if you can see that there all right, so uh, well, I'll be using the manual pad due to popular demand. All right, so basically um, the machine comes with double thread stand, which is right here for two needles, and also you can use that for double stitching. Now this right here is the needle position, the left, the middle, and the right needle positioning. All right, right here you have the adjuster for the um, zigzag and straight stitch. So if it's on zero, you're sewing the regular straight stitch, and if it's on four, you're sewing the zigzag. You can see the progression of the zigzags and uh, when you're and you're sewing with it okay so that's it zero four now this one here is what changes the stitch pattern the machine uses um stacks of this cam i was able to get my hand on some all right this is a stack of this cam and i will show you how to use that in the moment um right here you have your bobbin winder okay right here you have your stitch length regulator the up being the highest stitch length when when you bring it down you're actually sewing um the reverse side okay um tension this is the adjuster for the um, presser feet to make it tight or loosen. Now it uses a high shank foot um, and also it uses the industrial bobbin and shuttle mechanism. All right, like this, the industrial shuttle and the bobbin. All right, so it uses all type of needle from the HADB and the DB needles. All right, so quickly I would thread the machine and show you how to wind the bobbin. Now, in um, winding the bobbin, I will just use this down part here. Okay, I think I should use this for now. Use this down part here, and I pass it through the um, this place here. Make sure it passes here. This is what acts as the spring that tightens the bobbin. So I'll just um, wound this around the bobbin. Then I just raise it up and make sure it clips in. I bring it down. So when I sew. So I'll do that again. Just hold this down. All right. So when you're done, you just release it, take this up, and there you have it. That's your bobbin. Now, um, in fixing the bobbin, it's quite easy. Um, as you do the regular one, you just drop that in and close down and cross open the chambers and put that in okay so i will tread the machine and i'll show you how to tread the machine now and see how you can be able to do some stitches um, with the machine all right now in treading the machine you just from any of the thread stand here okay you put it down From here then make sure you whenever you want to pass your machine um, the, the tread through the tension make sure you raise the back foot up so when you raise that up it goes through the tension freely without no um, stoppage there and pass it through this tread carrier okay and goes through this point here it goes through this loop here then you tread from front to back all right so from here to this point here to the tension 
all the, the tread carrier, then down here, down here, then you tread from front to back. Okay, I already threaded the needle, so I'll be using the highest stitch length. Like I said, um, the stitch length goes up from, um, if you can see the numbering, from 1 to 5. Oh, at least I forget, there's the emblem of the alpha. The alpha, I think, I don't know what's written here right here, but there's the model number, 103-3. Okay, so I'll raise this up here, and um, this is on zero, so I'm sewing the regular straight stitch. Mind you, I'm using my treadle, so I might be slow, but just watch, all right? So for the regular straight stitch, it goes. All right, so I think I'm being calm, calm the clothes. So that's the back of the stitch, and there's the front. So I'll just go over it one more time. This time I'll just reduce the stitch length a bit, and So there you have it guys, a much more reduced um, stitch length, all right, and that's the back, all right. So I will sew through the um, disc cam now. Now I'm putting the disc cam, it's quite easy. You just flip this open, it pops up, all right. So when you look at the mechanism of the machine, it's all metal mechanism. Okay, so what you do is... I will just use one as an example. This is where the disc cam goes in. I just um, unscrew this, and um, this clip here. I just pull this back. I pull this back, and put my disc cam. This side here that has the protrusion faces down. Okay, the flat side faces up. All right. So what I just do is I hit most clip. Okay, I think that's clipped. Then I release. I put it back. Then I use this to tighten it. All right, so there you have it. Then put back my top cover. All right, so okay. So I want to sew the stitch. So what I do is I'll just. Um, Come here and put it on five. I reduce the stitch length. So here I'm sewing. Hold on. Okay. fabric is a little bit stretchy so um, that's why it's having this dancing snake light of structure but it's all good all right so there you have it that's the um, first one so I'm sewing this part so when I go for the other one which is this I'll just press this and second one which is I'm sewing this part of the design so it goes So I just um, go, let's say I want to show the third one, I just put that and So guys, there you have it, that's the, I did a multiple design, like I said the fabric is a little bit stretchy, but you can see this pattern, this pattern, and this last pattern. You can see that. All right, so I, let me just do the last one here. And, okay. I just turn this over and put on the last one. Okay, so. So guys, there you have it, that's the design, the last one I put in now. So if you want to return back to regular stretch stitch, just put this here and take this bat up. 
you're doing your regular straight stitch all right and also um this needle position like i said is used for buttonhole okay my videos i showed you how to use a needle position to create a simple buttonhole and all that so this is the alphamatics heavy duty super strong 103 dash 3 sewing machine thank you so much guys for watching and god bless you